What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We're doing some more Dead Rising 2 today. Uh, last time we were framed by someone in the news that we were like... Someone said we started the outbreak, but we did not. Because we are good people. Or at least we're trying to be. We're saving Samaritans, fucking killing zombies, and doing this and doing that. It's all with the program. And we're doing our best to clear our name. So we're gonna go do this little side mission called Workers' Compensation. Which shouldn't be too far. It should be at the Americana Casino, which is right next to us. So we're gonna go there and do that. I'm trying to press the button, but I wasn't pressing it. But yeah, I have a few hours to kill before I have to go to work. And I figured, let's record this. It's been a few days since I've uploaded. And, uh... Peak season apparently doesn't start until this Friday at my job. Which is a little odd, but it makes sense because Black Friday is this Friday, so... It's gonna be very busy over at FedEx. But that's fine by me. I need a weapon that's not gonna kill Stuart. Um, um, weapon, weapon. Take a fucking chair. Fuck. Alrighty. Okay, I'm not reading. We are getting the fuck out of here because Stuart just got fucked up by a chair and I do not want him getting fucked up anymore. We gotta save these survivors. We don't want them dead. Now we just wait for Brittany. There we go. My hand is... My hand hurts. I was holding a box at fucking FedEx yesterday, and it was a really wide one, and it was heavy. It was, like, scratching up against my wrist. So there's a little cut mark on my wrist thanks to a fucking box. So, thank you, FedEx. You're awesome. Let's go! Now we're going to get these two to the safe house and then we're going to do case two to one, sign of life. Or maybe we have to wait for that. I don't recall. But if we do, we can always just go like buy Zombrex, look around, explore. There's so much things to do when it comes down. Oh, never mind. Look at that. We got a mission. Luscious lady. Um, But yeah, this game is really nice. I think it's a very fun game to play, especially when you have some free time. The only thing that sucks is the Steam port. Um, doesn't have, like, controller compatibility, which really, really, really fucking sucks. So I have to use mouse and keyboard. Back when I played Dead Rising 1, I was able to use a controller. But you can't really use a controller with this one, unless you, like, do a bunch of, uh... Shit with uh, this little application which lets you use an Xbox controller and you have to go into the files and change it. But that's too complicated and I don't care enough to do so. So we're just rocking M and K at the moment. I'm gonna make another one of these. Pretty simple combo weapon. Very basic out of all of them but it's still a very good weapon to have. So of course I'm gonna just use it. So we're going to go do the Luscious Lady mission, which should be a very drunk girl inside of this Americana Casino. Um, and for any new people who are watching this video, yes, I've obviously beaten the game before. As you can see from my level, we're still in the beginning of the game. I'd say the beginning. 
Uh, yeah. If you want to read, go ahead. I'm not gonna skip over it. Okay. And she threw up all over the floor. How lovely. Alright. Alright. Hey there. I don't think Josh is here. He might be dead. Like, cool. I'm so sorry, lady. But this Josh you're looking for, he's definitely dead. So we're going to take Kirsten back to the safe house. Just more survivors to save. How many survivors have I saved so far? I do not know at the moment. I got no idea. So we're just going to hop up in here once again. And go all the way to the back. I should probably eat something. What the fuck? I was just moving and I stopped moving. I was holding the W key, Dead Rising 2. What's going on? Now get your ass in the safe house, Kristen. Just, I would just imagine Chuck just throwing her in there, shoving her in there like you're trying to shove something in a box. Is she a man? She has a bulge. <laughs> It's not a problem if she is. Or maybe she's trying... I don't know. As long as she's happy being who she is. That's all that matters. That's all you can hope for. Hashtag trans rights. And I say that genuinely. I'm not making a joke about that. I think everybody should have the right to be happy. I'm gonna drink this OJ. Alright, so... No other missions have popped up. So, I'm going to take a drink of this delicious root beer I got. Absolutely divine. I love me some root beer, some A&W. Now, I don't... Never... Aw, oh, fuck. I don't want to do this one. <laughs> okay, so we got to fight a douchebag from the... Um... The, uh, what show was fucking chucking again? I forgot the name of it somehow. All I know is TK is the leader and, uh, Terror is reality. Uh, pretty much a motorbike guy. We have to fight him. Which kind of sucks because he's a little annoying to kill. But I have a, I have a good weapon for this. Something is good backup right now. I just got to go get it first. Shut up, bitch. Give me that laser sword. Thank you. That's not the weapon. I just really wanted it. So in order to get it, we're gonna jump on top of her. Oh, money! Get the fuck off my dick! No one, no unwanted BJs, thank you. Okay, climb up here. Then we climb up here. Now we turn. Boom. Oh, there it is. Sniper rifle. Look at that. Hell of a weapon. I just want to jump off the building like this. How did I not take any damage from that? That was a fall that would kill anyone. Like, that fall would absolutely destroy anybody. Of course, it is a video game, so you have to have low expectations when it comes to fall damage for some games. If it was, like, Call of Duty... Can you fall in Call of Duty? Um... I think so. I don't... I don't recall. I don't play Call of Duty. I should start, though, eventually. I need to get some Black Ops on the channel, like the original Black Ops. I think that'd be fun to do, the campaign for Black Ops 1. And then do some Zombies gameplay. 
Maybe that's something we can do in the future here on the channel. All I gotta do is buy it and make time for it. I'm also looking forward to, um, eventually, this Thursday, I'm gonna be buying Sonic Frontiers on my PS4. First time I've ever played it. It's a really good game. Uh, it looks awesome. I remember everybody was shitting on it saying, oh, it looks terrible. It looks incomplete. It doesn't look good. Uh, over like a sneak peek, I think IGN made or something like that. But I was like, dude, it looks awesome. I don't see what people are complaining about. Then the full thing came out and everyone's like, oh my god, it's so cool. And I was like, why y'all switching up, bro? <laughs> but I can't even blame them. It's, it's an awesome game. No shit, Chuck. Twice the points. They're harder to hit because they move around so much. Bastards. You're crazy. This isn't a game. You're right about that. That was just practice. <laughs> now, it's a game. Terror is reality, baby, for real. <laughs> Love and Fortune City. I've always wanted to take you down, chump. But you need some wheels, Chucky. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta fight that douchebag. I do not like fighting him, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's ride. So, the trick is I don't stay on my bike when I fight him. I kind of just get off at the one area by the fences and I'll lure him and he'll get stuck. I do like killing a lot of zombies though. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Fucking zombies, man. I would have been fine if these zombies weren't everywhere over here. Fucking tree didn't do its job. Ah, oh, Jesus. What? Never mind, I guess we didn't need the sniper. 
Yeah, he gets stuck on the fence a lot, which is good. I like the pun-like jokes that Chuck makes whenever fucking... Where did Leon go? He just... Disappeared. He turned in the smoke and vanished. Like a magician. I guess I got a few zombies to kill here and there. We might as well. Might as well just drive around. Kill a few. Well, I want to do this. Now, I don't remember the buttons to press for this, so I got to see, clearly. I think it's WASD, right? I hit S, though. What? Or did I hit the wrong button? Okay, I know I hit A. I did hit A. This shit's rigged. Oh, do I gotta hold it? Maybe I gotta hold it and make it push that direction? Okay, that time I hit the wrong button. I'm going to get this right. I got this. Eh, I hit S. Whatever. That was the longest we lasted. I'm not doing this shit. It's taken too much time and I suck at it, clearly. So. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Got more zombies to kill. With this bike here that I'm going to ride all the way to hell. What the fuck? I also have no idea what the song is that plays when we fight Leon. I don't even know if it's by Seldweller. Seldweller is the name of the artist who normally has his songs used in the psychopath battles. Almost the 350. Getting some good kills. Now, uh, did I get a mission? I don't know. I did. Brains over brawn. Alright, I guess we're going there. Luckily, it's just within this area. Also, ignore any background noise. There is probably people talking. It's just like, ignore that. I don't exactly have soundproofed walls because I got soundproof pads, but I don't have anything to put them up on the walls, and I don't think the walls are good for like tape and shit. So yeah, that definitely sucks, but it is what it is. 
Now, in order to get to these dudes, we gotta go all the way to the end over by the Americana, Americana Casino. Or the entrance to the uh, arena. So yeah, we're going to... Yep, we're almost there. There it is. Hello. Drink this up. That only heals you one. That sucks. Couldn't meet any girls, huh? Hi and binary. <laughs> Alright. So they can't talk to any girls. Is there anyone there? I think you gotta talk to John, right? All this rejection, I just can't take it anymore. Hey man, that sucks. Aw, oh, you bitch! Don't dare interrupt me. Alright. Alright, let's get these boys out of here. We got looters over there, I see. Alright. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to get attacked by the looters, so I was hoping they'd hurry up. Some of the NPCs in this game are AI or whatever. They are not that smart. I am not saving any of you. I see I don't have a choice. Keep going. Hurry up. Stay close. God, these zombies are really annoying in this area. Get off of me! Yeah, I agree. They are all pieces of shit. It's like, Jesus Christ. Just so many zombies, man. So many. Keep going. Luckily, we're not far from the safe house. We can get them there. And then they'll be safe, and I never have to save them again. I really like the NPCs that you have to carry, though, because they're not hard to save. This way. Things like this, it's like, oh man, I just passed that area for Barn Burner. Alright, then I have to go back to the arena area, because that's where two people were. Over at that Barn Burner mission I just got. Pretty much in the area right when we come into the game, when we get out of the elevator to go to save our daughter, there's like a little room there, and it's on fire, and there's two people inside of it. Let's go. We also just got, fucking god, that was there too! Why am I getting all these now? It's like, Jesus. I wish I would've got these missions earlier. I could have gotten achievement. Well, that would be seven. I think you need to save eight in order to get the achievement. 
Eh, it's whatever. I can get that achievement later. I already got it on the PS3. So it's not really an achievement. It's a trophy, but still. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to get. You gotta save eight people at the exact same time. And that shit sucks. It really does. Pretty much, I think the best thing to do is we'd have to kill uh, Ted and get Snowflake, save Lenny, get those four... And then save the barn burner couple. And after that, fucking just come to the safe house and that's eight people. Well, we'd also have to do Chuck the Roll Model too. And that would not be easy because Chuck the Roll Model is also a psychopath battle. So I guess we're doing two psychopaths today. We're going to do that and then go save uh, the barn burner couple. It shouldn't be too bad, but Brandon has a few tricks up his sleeves. That's the guy we're going to be fighting right now. Get off of me. Money. So in order to do the Chuck the Roll Model mission, we have to go up here into this bathroom here. Into the men's bathroom out of all places to save a woman. The movement is growing. Soon we'll all be part of the change. Hey, buddy. You okay? So my favorite thing about this battle is Eon by Celldweller plays in the background, which is a really good song. I'm gonna heal up. But yeah, the song is really good. I aimed the wrong way. Why am I aiming the wrong way? Chuck, you dumbass. I pushed to move a direction and you didn't listen to me. Ow. 
Wonder what way he's coming out this time. What the fuck? Alright. Easy. Alright, that's done. Get away from her, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's help her get out of here. And I'm gonna give her one of these cure signs over here as a weapon. Take this. Let's go save a couple. Follow me. That are trapped within a burning room. And then after we save them, I might end the episode. Because I have no idea how long I've been recording. But I don't want to stretch out the episode too long. Oh, shit. What the fuck have I done? I left her behind. <laughs> I knew it. I don't want to leave her behind. I do not. There we go. Now we can go do it. But as I was saying, I don't really want to stretch out the episode too long. So meaning, we're going to have to focus on the story in the next episode. Don't fall behind. Move it. I'm not coming back for you, Vicky. Come on. Stay close. Stick Fight out, Vicky. Come on. Moving. Is she just going to be stuck in an animation like that? Now we just saved these two from a burning room that they set themselves to avoid the zombies. Move up my way. Now let's take these two back to the safe house. Or these three. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Stick close. Move it. Push past the zombies, guys. You got this. They're coming. All right. Just like that, they're all three ready. Man, my hand hurts whenever I put it on the mouse pad. Got a little cut over there. Because I have, like, a cushioned mouse pad, so it's, like, pushing into it. It's not Holy. good. Give me my money back. I got $300,000. 
I'm making good money. And they're all good. I kind of really wanted to focus on this story, but I don't like how when you wait for certain missions, it makes you Keep it wait a while. Like, Sign of Life took a hot minute just to even get here. Don't and it's still them. not here yet. Sure. So you gotta wait a while just to focus on the story. Oh, shit. I just woke up like an hour to two hours ago. Come on, Vicky. Come on, Elrod. And come on, Trixie Lynn. Get you three up in here. My heater just kicked on. Probably got a little chilly in here. Totally yes, this. Actually, I don't know if this place uses green technology. <laughs> Unfortunate, yeah. So, when does Sign of Life happen again? 7.30 and it's 6.40 in the game. So, by the next episode, it should be time. So, I'm going to save up. We're still on case 1-4, but at least we got to kill some psychopaths and save some survivors. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, dislike if you didn't. It's up to you. That's all I got to say, and I'll see you all in the next video.